Have you ever heard of the quote, you need to inspect what you expect, as well as you cannot expect what you do not inspect? So with that being said, in today's video, we are going to be doing a one week budget check-in on my paycheck budget that we just completed last week. And we're gonna be inspecting to see what's going on, what's good, <laughs> what's the update. Now, I do check in on my budget for the most part daily. I try to do it daily. I'm getting more into the habit of doing that. But I wanna make it a habit of making sure that I'm completing these videos to let you guys know how important that is, okay? If this is your very first time, my name is Jasmine, AKA Budget Treasures. And here on my channel, we talk about all things finance with the emphasis on budgeting, saving money, and paying off debt. If you are a returning bestie, hey girl, hey, I got some story time for y'all today. All right, let's go ahead and jump right on into the video. guys so I did do some pre-work so I won't be all over the place like I was on the last video I felt like I was all over the place <laughs> but I did some pre-work and this video shouldn't take too long but I do have some notes here in my small little handy dandy notebook or whatever this is this is the happy planner I don't know what they call it all the planner babes they know I don't really know but anyway, I wrote some notes here to help us move faster so I don't have to go checking everything. I'm gonna zoom in a bit and we'll get started. All right, you guys, so as we are getting set up, if you are not subscribed to the channel, please make sure that you guys subscribe. Please give this video a thumbs up so YouTube knows that you really appreciate this uh, content. Uh, likes and comments and all that stuff definitely does help and it does support to take the channel far. And let me tell you, we got some good news. Guys, as of the time that I am recording this video, we are at 17,000 one budget besties in the community so we are super excited about that that was our goal so that means that uh, giveaway is activated now so I'm super excited about that I don't like to really make the announcement until I'm like at 17,020 because if anybody decides to unsubscribe then it's gonna take us back down because we're so close to 17,000 but anywho I'm super excited about that let me tell you guys thank you thank you thank you for watching all of my videos all of my shorts anything that you do to support me I greatly appreciate you make sure that you guys take the poll over in the community tab I'm trying to see what gift cards you guys want and then we're gonna be running a raffle on one of the upcoming videos and then I'll also be giving you guys some more information about how the giveaways will be working moving forward hope that wasn't too long. all right so we have our oops throwing stuff we have our green pen for coming under budget black pen for right on target and red pen for over okay so someone gave me a suggestion to not um include ties and mortgage here because it doesn't come out of this budget and i do that for some of the other items that i have for example like the trash if you guys remember on the last video i was paying the trash out of my savings so i didn't enter it here so i might i might make that change i don't know but um just know girl i heard you i, I read all y'all comments and, and everything and it really means a lot so i did pay my ties and i did pay my mortgage so we're good on that now hulu came in at let's see 14.99 so hulu was actually a little bit more i didn't know that hulu i don't know where i got 12.99 from and stars came in at um stars hasn't come out yet um even though stars should have come out I don't know why I don't have stars on here. All right, you guys, so off camera, I went on ahead and made all of the corrections to the bill tracker and also the calendar that stars actually comes out on the 16th of the month. I made a note here as well. So it doesn't come out on the 28th. So for here, I'm just going to put zero that we came under at this time. Solar, our solar bill came in at 118 60 so that's actually in green 
we will take that seven cent. Yes, we will. And for SoCal Gas, we came in at $49.96. So we came in right on target there. And for our court date, debt, sorry, we came in at $75. For HOA, $285.90. So you guys, my HOA, I need to pay a total of $700 before the night, I think it is. Well, besides this, I need to pay, uh, it's $441 now. And then that way, that'll get me out of the red. It'll get me out of the clear. So let me just tell you guys, don't play with the HOA people. Don't let it get to the lean portion because if it does get to that part, then they will assess and at attach more fees and court costs and things like that. So I am going to take the money from my savings account so that I can just go ahead and pay that and then I may or may not replenish that. I don't know, I'm just being honest. Um, T-Mobile, 1037. That came in right on Target. And ADT, this has not been auto-drafted out of my account yet. I actually think it's due on the third. Um, internet cable this has not been taken out of my account yet either surprisingly because they are real faithful about taking their money um, electric came in at 48 I'm sorry <sighs> electric my electric bill is not due on the first I don't know why I have that there let me do some digging on my electric bill one second all right you guys so i had to fix that as well so the electric bill is actually due on the six so because that falls within this pay period i went on ahead and paid it and it is the 48.58 okay and capital one you guys so i thought that i had to pay capital one $200 every two weeks, but I actually have to pay them $200 a month. So when I called the other day because I didn't see that it had been deducted out of my account, that's when they told me. I was happy about it, of course, because this budget was already tight enough. But however, I do still want to get it paid off as quickly as I can, and I'm definitely going to look at that opportunity when it comes. So right now we're gonna say Capital One, we came under budget because that is not a payment that is due right now, okay? So now let's go ahead and take a look at our variable expenses, which is basically our cash envelopes. And let's see how we have been doing. Now I will tell you, I have not gone grocery shopping yet probably bad but not really because what I did was I did have some meat in the freezer and I just started to cook the meat that I already had so I will need to go I have gone a little bit but I will need to go soon for this upcoming week and I have my receipts here I am still scanning my receipts in fetch however Fetch is not given as many points or the opportunity for bonus points now. I think they're only given 250 bonus points if you refer someone. So I'm still going to refer people. If you want to um, download Fetch app, you're able to scan your receipts and you can cash those points in for gift cards. Okay. So here in groceries, we have a total of 20, 40, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 71, 72. So we have $72 left in groceries and we started with $100. So I'm going to be taking this $70 and getting groceries for the rest of the week. Next is our household and I haven't gotten anything. I haven't been anywhere to buy anything. So 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 
So I have $15 here. Guys, I'm on this no spend challenge and it's causing me to like really check my house and see what I already have and really curb my spending because not only am I not spending, I'm also looking at using what I already have, which is saving me money in that area as well. So we still have $20 in the toiletries envelope. And then in here, I still have my $45. I'm not getting my hair done until tomorrow. So that's when that one will be emptied. But we're doing pretty good on our cash envelopes. So I'm not going to write anything as of now. Um, because we're not done. Now, I did give the $5 in the giveaway. So I'm going to put $5 here. And then if you guys remember in my last video, my emergency savings, I had forgot to take the $25 out. So what I did was I took, y'all, let me tell you, I'll go to the ATM machine, right? Because I'm like, oh, I could just, you know, go get the $25 out the ATM machine. I do not go to the ATM machine. I cannot tell you the last time I've been. Every time I go to the bank, I go inside of the bank and I see a teller. When I get to the ATM machine, I put my card in and I'm like, $25, why? I'm like, oh, that's right. You can only get increments of 20s. Oh. So I only got $20 out <laughs> instead of $25. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that $5. The next time I get paid, I'm gonna add it to that savings I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna take it out because otherwise I'll have to go to the teller for $5. Now, I will go to the teller for $5, but I'm not gonna do that. <clears throat> so I'm gonna be adding that $20 to our savings. I wanna make sure I'm still contributing to this. And you guys see my new bank bag, it's so cute. I know you have seen this bag floating around Instagram and YouTube streets. If you want this bag, you're gonna have to DM me on Instagram. I am not blasting out where I got it from because I know that a lot of creators are selling this and I did not buy it from a creator because the price was cheaper where I got it. So I'll just say that. So if you want it, you're gonna have to DM me on Instagram. All right, so I'm adding 20. So we got 20, 40, 60, 80. 85 90 $95 it would be a hundred but so we have $95 saved woo, woo. we're making some good progress and that's everything here in our savings and we have not put any extra money to debt and so I think that we're doing pretty good looking at you know what we have inspected so far um, FYI, I am doing a no spin challenge for you guys who follow me on social media. And I'm also putting it on my shorts as well, where I'm doing an update <clears throat> of the money that I'm spending. And I'm really, really focused on this, guys. I really want to make sure that I do well on this challenge. So as best I can, I'm not spending any money. So I created this document here. Today is the first, and I just have a little section here that says how much money did I save and how much money did I make? Um, not from my nine to five, but from like any side hustle that I am doing. So we are one day in, and I've already gotten a chance to color one square. It really makes it fun when you are able to track it and you're able to like color in or maybe even put an X in the box or anything like that. I'm excited about this sheet right here. I did want to share with you guys a little bit of story time and it's not gonna take long, but I have to do a story time really quick. Remember the last video that I did, the very last one where I talked about some of the goals that I had and that I want to do. So when we got to the part where I talked about social, res was it social responsibility? I forgot what it was called, but I was really communicating how I wanted to have the opportunity to bless people with purchasing food for them, uh, buying their gas, etc. 
let me tell y'all what happened to me. So I go to the grocery store and if you follow me on Instagram, you have already heard this, but I go to the grocery store, I'm in line, I'm gonna make a long story short. And the girl who was in front of me couldn't pay for all of her food. And I was wrestling with myself back and forth because I'm looking at the total and the total was $53. She only had $21. But I'm thinking to myself, like, girl, you got shrimp. Like, I need to understand how you thought $21 was going to pay for two bags of shrimp, right? So I'm like, okay, she only got $21. That means I would have to, if I do offer to pay, I'm going to have to pay like 30 bucks. And I'm like, I'm already on a tight budget. We already know. Jazz ain't got it. But I was going back and forth for myself and I had enough time to go back and forth for myself because the cashier was not able to void out the transaction. She had to wait for the manager to come. So as we're waiting, I'm going, and then I just say, hey, you know, I, I don't mind paying the balance for your food. And she's like, oh my God, no, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I'm like, are you sure? Because I really don't mind, you know, helping you out. I'm like, even if you have the money, don't worry about it. I'll just pay for it and then you can go. She's like, no, 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 oh my God. And she's all super nervous because you know how we act, people in line. And you know, people are probably looking at her all crazy, like, girl, hurry up. So she's like nervous and I'm like, girl, don't worry about it. But anyway, she declines it, right? So as I'm walking out of the store, I hear a guy say, didn't you ask me for these type of opportunities? And I quickly was like, oh my gosh, like God really heard the desires of my heart. And this just goes to show you that he will give you the desires of your heart. This was an opportunity for me to give back. And, and I really think that that was a test for me to see like, do I really want to help people? Even if I'm in a bind and I don't have it, do I have a heart? Do I have a posture of giving? Do I have a posture of really getting in there and helping somebody out? Yes, it would have taken $30 out of my grocery budget and maybe I would have, um, you know, bended and, and didn't buy certain things so that I could have blessed her. I don't know. I probably would have paid with my debit card and then that would have been $30 out of that. However, I really believe that that was for me to know, do I really have that heart posture to help people? And no matter, and I'm not going to say no matter what the cost, but that it wouldn't put me in a bind or anything like that. However, it was out of my budget. So that was just like awesome. And I, she didn't take the help, but it just, it was mind blowing how God really was like, do you really want this? The very next I think like I filmed that video like I recorded that video like two days ago probably so the fact that he gave me this opportunity like right now was like totally crazy that's why I'm people like God ain't real I'm like that was not a coincidence if you think that was a coincidence I'm not gonna go on a tangent anyway so if you want to catch that video Catch this video right here. You can click on, check that video out. We're talking about all my goals and all that stuff. But that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Giveaway coming soon. I will see you in the next video. Go be great. Peace out.